Hi guys, Mr. Shisha here from Shisha Connoisseurs. I uh, come here with a special unboxing for you today. I know it's been a while, but we have something very special to share. Uh, we have here the Fumo Tank, uh, straight from Fumo Design in Florida. Uh, ordered this about just over a week ago. Took about a week to get processed, uh, built ev uh, everything, etc. And then uh, shipped in three days from the US to the UK. Three days. Uh, I was given a dispatch email from DHL on Monday. Uh, today is Wednesday, the 28th of March, and I received it just this morning. Uh, so let's give it an open up and see if everything's in the box. A lot of packaging here. So, one thing I've realised from looking at other Fumo unboxings is the quality of packaging they give. And I can definitely back that up here. Uh, everything that you order, no matter how big or small, is packaged to the best it can be. The hoses come in what looks like a pizza box. I'll open up for you guys. You'll see packaged again in a plastic Ziploc kind of bag. This here is the stainless steel hose. And in these two boxes, as I said, no matter how big or small, we have here the one-way side valve. If I just let it focus on. Um, and this is here again, just as a purge. So when you're smoking your shisha, you want to let some stale air out, blow it into the pipe, and this valve just allows it to come out. So I bought two of these guys. Uh, as I've heard on the tank, you may need more than one, as it's such a big chamber to clear. Uh, as you can see, so again, it comes in the box, but again, when you open it up, you get this really nice sort of velvety textured bag. And even when you open that up, the valve is still wrapped up in some sort of cloth and then Fumo's logo. So it's very, very well designed. Um, I'll put this back for now and we'll get into more details a little bit later on. In the second box, small box anyway, I have the one-way valve. So, as you may or may not know, the tank that I ordered uh, allows up to four hoses to be put in. So again, if you've got more than one hose smoking, and then you don't want to cover your thumb, uh, sorry, you don't want to cover the pipe with your thumb, or just cover the pipe at all, then use one of these bad boys. Again, packaged the same way, box, velvet bag, wrapped up again. In, it looks like some sort of wool or cloth, really, but it's very, very secure, so you've got no worries at all about uh, any of the glass pieces being broken in transit. Again, Fumo, they pride themselves on pretty much all glass design. There are no sort of grommets or gaskets used. It's all just grounded glass, fits in perfectly. Look out for the Fumo review later on. We'll talk further more about that and how well it smokes. So, more packaging. Then you have some bubble wrap. Which is covering the storage box. Now, when I first placed the order, I knew straight away that I wanted the wooden storage box. Um, I spoke to Mark, who was very kind on the emails, and he let me know that there was some sort of shipping um, issue with the boxes at the moment. However, any issue that there would be would be resolved in my favour. Uh, it definitely looks that way. I mean, it's been shipped with the box, and again in three days. Uh, I'm constantly buying things from America, um, and three days from the US to the UK, I was amazed at. Uh, I was watching the tracking, and the way it was moving, um, I was quite surprised how fast it was going. And then to have it come here within three days, I'm still quite shocked at that, to be honest. Let me take out the storage box. There's nothing else in the box. I'll put that aside for now. And there we go. The Fumo wooden storage box. Now the top just slides off like that. Then in here, I believe, we'll see all the parts and pieces to the rest of the tank package. Very nice wood, it's not very cheap. As you can see, you've got the Fumo logo, 
it looks um, almost like it's been burnt on, but it's very nice, etched on maybe. So now, if I just move the camera down slightly. There we go. So, right, so again, we have some more hoses. Now, I'll just mention that um, the package I ordered, it's the tank package, the glass one. It comes with two glass uh, hoses. It comes with uh, one of the purge valves. It comes with the Fumo Design Patent funnel bulk and the down stem and of course the tank. Uh, I ordered the stainless steel hose separately uh, just to try it out, see what the difference is between the glass one. And just because I know I can be quite clumsy, in case I did break one of the glass hoses, I wanted to have a backup. So I thought it might as well be useful to try the stainless steel one, hence why it came in a separate box. So we have the glass hose. Um, again, in the same Ziploc style bag. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the glass mouth tip ends are again wrapped in that sort of cotton woolly sort of material. Very secure. Make sure it does not break in transit. Uh, again, we have the same thing for the second hose. And they're very similar looking to the fancy hoses or new hoses, if any of you have tried them. But they just seem that much more quality. Um, again, they're tasteless, they're fully washable, so none of your shisha should really ghost it. Um, I've been told as well that they're about 70 inches long, so very long enough for you to sit back and relax, still smoke your shisha, with no worries about that. In this box here, again the same thing, you have the small black velvety bags. Let's find out what's inside this bag. Okay, I think this is the funnel bowl, guys. So again, bubbled up very nicely. Make sure it's protected. Um, I'm very interested actually to see how this works and how this smokes, especially with Tangier's uh, shisha. Uh, as you can see at the moment, it's just a very basic glass bowl. Um, again, there's no sort of grommet or gasket needed. It's like ground glass and it's meant to lock into the rest of the glass pieces very nicely. So we'll have a look at that later on. Um, as far as I'm aware, the down stem that you receive pretty much just locks into it and creates a funnel sort of design. So I'll put this aside just for now, just to show you how it will lock in with the down stem. So I just have to find that out there just to get the down stem out. Um, again, it's wrapped in corrugated cardboard, so it absorbs any sort of shock around it. And inside, I'm pretty sure it's wrapped again in some sort of uh, soft material. Let me just open this up quickly just to see how that will fit with the bolt. Right, yep, so again, some sort of soft material to pad it up. And as you can see, guys, the same thing. Um, this section here, ground sort of glass uh, texture to it, and I'm assuming that locks in with the rest of the bolt to create a funnel design. Um, this is the downstem piece. As you can see, it has a built-in diffuser, so it should stop a lot of noise if you're watching a film or you just want to be able to hear something in the background, then the shisha smoke shouldn't disturb you. And again, in the product review, we'll see how well this performs. So I'll just lock this in. I believe that it goes in from the top actually, so you push it in through there, slide it in slowly, and it creates a very nice seal. And as you can see now, the standard bar is transformed into a funnel type bowl. Um, now it does have three holes along the top spire, uh, very similar to a vortex, however it still does have the one big hole in the center, if I just let the focus on there. So I'll be very interested to see how this smokes compared to standard Tangier's funnel bowls and even a Hokujan Alien bowl. I'll put that aside for now and see what else we have in the packaging. Right, so as you saw, I probably went for this one just before the down stem. In this bag, we have the stainless steel cover. So that's pretty much Fumo's design or Fumo's take on the wind cover. 
uh, I believe that you place this just on top of the metal screen and again it will just act like a wing cover around it because again there's no tray on the tank uh, as you'll see when it's fully assembled. Um, so you have the bowl then you have a metal screen on top and this sits just on top of it very nicely and it covers all the coals around the side to stop any sort of ash falling off, coals falling off but there's no sort of lid on there so you may want to get some sort of uh, additional wind cover in case you do need that sort of protection from your coals. So I'll pop that in the bag for now. But to be honest with you guys, I mean, uh, I've just ordered a Cloud Lotus, so I want to see how that performs on the tank as well. And again, if it works well, then I wouldn't really need the use for this. But those of you who don't have the Cloud, who still use normal bowls, or just be using the bowl that comes with the Fumo, then I'm sure this cover would work very well. And then in here, this bag, you have the metal screen. So um, I've used a couple screens before. I haven't really been a big fan of screens. They don't tend to sort of heat up well, retain heat well. Um, they usually end up burning, give me sort of a burning taste when I'm smoking, so I'd be interested to see how this works. Uh, from other reviews I've seen, it works very well, so I'm quite excited to try this. And in this bag, I believe you have the Fumo tongs. So again, you see the Fumo design etched in. Uh, let me see if I can focus in on that at all. Uh, you can just about make it out I suppose. Again, very nice stainless steel feel and build quality to it. Um, I'd like to give them a go and see how they're like in terms of managing coals. Uh, I tend to use Coca Bricos in the UK, similar to Coconut as you guys may see in the US. Um, again, cubed natural coconut coals. See how well they hold, how the grip is. Because I know some small uh, tongs, I, I normally use jumbo tongs and they work very well. But recently I've lost those and so I've been using these very small basic tongs you get and they're not as nice. So I'd like to see how these three more ones perform. And now guys, to the main event, we have the tank itself. So you can be careful taking this out. Again, packed similar to the down stem, wrapped in corrugated cardboard and again in this soft cloth material. And there you have it. That is the Fumo tank, guys. So first impressions, you can feel the quality of it. It's very quality glass. The build quality is excellent. It just feels very nice to hold in your hand and as you can see as well, it's very nice to look at. Uh, for a shish as well, hooker, naku, whatever you may call it. It's a very different design which is what attracted me to it. Um, and it just looks very, very, you know, sophisticated, modern. And the one thing I like about it is the simplicity. So again, as you see, there's no sort of additional parts, there's no grommets, gaskets, everything, the simple bits you need, the bowl, the down stem, the hose, they all slot in. There's no, there's no additional stuff needed. So as you see, you have the main um, port there to put in your down stem and your bowl. And as I mentioned earlier, four ports there to put in four hoses or your, your own combination of hoses and purge valves, etc. So you have the Fumo logo there on the side. And I believe, I'll double check this when I'm actually going to smoke it, that this line here is the fill line, the way you fill up your water, which is useful to have. Uh, so let me quickly for you guys just assemble it and give you an idea of what it may look like. the tank, again the down stem which goes into the bowl and yet yeah, just as I've been told numerous times the down stem, the bowl with that ground glass it just slots in perfectly there's no sort of like moving about it seems very airtight again I'll test it when I smoke it but it seems to just work perfectly so Fuma have really uh, outdone themselves on this let me just slot in one of the hoses and give that a go. In fact, let's have a look at the mouth tip and the ports that are used on the glass hose. So I'm just gonna be careful with this. As I said, I am clumsy, so I do not wanna break any of the glass pieces. So I'll just slot off one end here. This is the hose port end, it goes into the tank. Again, the same ground glass you've seen on the other um, connecting pieces of the tank. As far as I'm aware, that just slots into one of these. Again, you can feel it as it goes in, perfect design. Um, airtight, it slots in, no need for a grommet gasket. So those of you guys like me as well, who always seem to misplace them, those are things of the past. And finally here, you have the glass mouth tip. 
So very nice again, you can see Fumo logo on there. Let me see if I can just focus on that. No, yes. Uh, you can maybe just about see it there, but again, they've sort of etched the Fumo logo in there. So attention to detail is very nice on the product. You know that Fumo spent a long time on their design and has taken pride in it. Something that I like to do myself, so maybe why I was attracted to it. Uh, first impressions holding it, it's a very nice feel on your hand. Um, again, the same quality glass you'll find on the tank, it's very solid. Um, again, I have many carpet in my house as you can see, so I haven't got many concerns of dropping it. But those of you that may have harder stone floors or wooden floors, I'd say just be a bit more careful with it. But I mean, keep it, you know, take care of it, it will take care of you, you shouldn't really have any sort of issues. Again, the length of the hose, very nice, very comfortable, so I can easily put my shisha here, sit back on the sofa, no issues at all. Just testing the airflow, guys, again. The coil is on the outside, and it's a fully washable, I think, uh, some sort of plastic silicone material to it, so it's very clear. There's no restriction whatsoever, um, and I'd be very excited to actually try it when it's smoking. Um, so just a quick roundup for you guys, then. I ordered... Oops, that's the thing there, and the glass table, you want to be careful where you're putting it down, maybe have some sort of cloth there, have you heard that little there, that was the glass mouth tip hitting the glass on the table, so you do want to be careful with this, um, it is a pricey hookup, but I mean, you get what you pay for, if you've just seen it all, the way they've packaged it, the care they've taken, the design, it's probably the best shisha I've actually ever seen, and hopefully when I review it, the best shisha I've used. A uh, quick run on of what I ordered then, I ordered the Fumo tank package, the glass package, that comes with the Fumo tank, the funnel bowl, the down stem. It comes with two of these glass hoses included, 70 inch hoses. You also get one purge valve included, so you can remove any stale smoke. Uh, you get the tongues included as I showed you, the screen and the wind cover. Separately, I ordered two extra purge valves. One is a one way valve to allow me to have two hoses at the same time smoking. Uh, well, not two at the same time smoking, one smoking while the other one doesn't have to be covered. Uh, and again, the second one, I've got another purge valve. As I said, you can see it's a big chamber. When it's filled with smoke, you want to be able to clear it quickly and not want to put any kind of water shooting up the bowl. So two valves have been told does it, so we'll see if that works out. And again, I bought the stainless steel hose just to give it a try, see if the metal will be more durable for me against the glass. Um, and again, one last time, look at that. the storage box so it's almost like a little crate but it's very nice I, I like the design of it. it it's different from what you'd expect to get with a glass shisha as you can see um, that says Fumo design hookers again etched in it's a very sturdy very solidly built piece of wood it's something that I definitely like to get for the tank to keep it all together keep it safe it's very nicely designed and I like the sort of contrast you get, it's like a wooden storage box with a glass shisha. So I like that little quirkiness of there, but it works very well. Um, that's it for now guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, like, subscribe, all sorts of that. Look out for the upcoming review on this. Um, we'll see what we'll be smoking, how it smokes, and whether you should get one yourselves. Thanks guys.